Hey guys, we're on a field trip today to my mom's house. She's got several tropical hibiscus that have been badly neglected for years in terms of pruning. So I'm here to help her out and at the same time show you guys the right way and the wrong way to prune tropical hibiscus. As you can see, these hibiscus plants are well established. They're huge. My mom has a gardener, you know, mow, blow and go, and they've been trimming the hibiscus to basically keep up its shape. You know, just using some shears to kind of trim it up like a hedge every couple of months. The problem is tropical hibiscus only bloom on new growth. So when you're trimming it like a hedge, you're trimming off all the blooms and buds. So I'm gonna show you how to do a hard prune to revitalize these plants and then show you how to keep up with it so you never end up with this problem again. It's going to help your tropical hibiscus bloom throughout the year or the season, depending on your particular climate. First of all, before we start, we have to time the prune correctly. If you prune too soon and you get hit with a frost, it could kill your plant. If you prune in the heat of the summer, it could actually stress the plant out and set the growth back or kill it completely as well. So you have to time it just right. The supplies for this job are minimal. You need a good sharp pair of hand pruners, a pair of loppers, uh, possibly a saw depending on the size of the branches, and some rubbing alcohol to sterilize the blades to prevent the transfer of disease. Now, ready to start. First, I want to figure out the overall size and shape that I want. Keep it simple. Figure out the, the height and the width, and then use the loppers to really get in there and cut it to that size and shape. With something this big, you can be drastic. You don't have to worry about it. Hibiscus are very forgiving. Remember, whatever size you finish with, it's gonna grow out from there. So cut it a foot smaller each way than you want the actual final size to be. You might wanna sit down. Okay, so there's been a massacre. However, I got it to somewhat a basic height and width that I want, but there is a lot of old woody growth down in the center, which is never going to produce new leaves, new flowers. So what we have to do is get in there and thin that out. Um, we're going to cut off branches almost all the way down to the base. And uh, we're definitely going to remove any crossing branches and, and completely dead branches. Those will be the ones I take off first. But overall, I'm probably going to take out almost 50% of the inside of this plant. And that's going to help prevent uh, disease by improving the airflow through the plant. There you go. The plant is very sparse compared to what it used to be. But this plant needed drastic measures to bring it back down to a manageable size. Plants produce growth hormones and send those hormones to the tips of each branch or stem, naturally making each stem grow longer. Hibiscus only bloom on new growth, so in order for the plant to continue to produce blooms, it has to keep getting bigger and bigger. And what you're left with is something like we had, a huge bushy plant with the blooms way out on the tips of the branches. Pruning forces the hormone back down the stem or branch. And what happens is that hormone will begin to produce new growth at the lower nodes on the branch. And on a hibiscus, the nodes are where the leaf meets the stem. So what you wanna do is you wanna find a node that is uh, facing outward because we want an outward growth. And wherever that node is facing, that new stem is gonna grow. So you wanna go down, find the node that you want, and then just cut right above that node. That's gonna force out a new stem here, but it's also gonna force out growth back down beyond that. So it's gonna bush the plant out and get the look that you really want. So that's how we revitalize an old unkempt plant. But keeping it from getting that way in the first place is actually really easy. And I'll show you how. Plants younger than five years old don't need any pruning at all. But plants older than that do need occasional pruning from April to August. But it's not as labor intensive as it sounds. What most people do is maybe twice during those months come in with hedge trimmers and give it an all over shave. The problem is 
All you're doing is cutting off all the growth tips and in turn the flowers. Plus, hedge trimmers tear up all the big, beautiful, glossy leaves. What you wanna do is every four to six weeks, just get in there and you wanna take off two to three branches from different sides of the plant. So one here, one there, one there. And you wanna take those branches all the way down to almost the base of the plant, maybe within two to three inches from the bottom. Look for an outward facing node in that area and cut just above it. You wanna choose an outward facing node again because you want the plant to grow out, not into itself. You wanna maintain an open center for good airflow. Do that for all three branches. Come back in another four to six weeks and do the exact same thing with another two to three branches. That's gonna keep you having big, beautiful plants full of new leaves and flowers throughout the growing season. It will also keep the plant looking natural and not in the shape of a rounded cube. I hope this was good information for you. Just get in there and start cutting. Remember, hibiscus are very forgiving plants. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you learned something new, consider subscribing. As always, if you have some tips, please leave them in the comments. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.